Sophia and welcome to today's video. Now I've been getting a lot of questions especially on TikTok asking me to share how I style my hair so I thought I would do this here. Now I definitely showed it in vlogmas last year but it was kind of attached to an entire vlog so I totally get you know not a lot of people wanting to like watch it to just to watch that clip. So here is the standalone video. I thought about you know adding like a section on hair care but I think that would have made the video too long so this is purely just how I style my hair and if you are interested in seeing my hair care routine which is very long like I just said make sure you let me know either in the comments or by liking this video and without further ado let's just get started okay so the first thing I want to do is show you guys how I style my hair usually so after I do my entire hair care routine, which I'm not going to go into, usually at this point my hair is maybe about 70% damp. I have wiggled my fingers through the roots to kind of loosen up the hair a little bit. So what I usually do is I'll go straight in with a hair dryer to get my hair about 20% dry. This definitely takes a little bit of time because I definitely have one of those hair types that once it's wet, it looks like I have very little hair, but then the moment I start drying it and it gets a little dry, it kind of thickens up really, really quickly. So this definitely takes the longest in the entire process. I usually avoid drying my bangs because I don't want that to dry too quickly and I don't want it to be fully dry by the time I style my bangs, which is usually towards the end. So once the majority of my hair is about 20% dry, this is when I will go in with a straight brush attachment of my Dyson air wrap what I usually do is I will start from the inside or the back of my hair and basically just finish drying it using that straight attachment tool because it also smooths out my hair and makes it less frizzy because my hair is a little long now and because my hair is actually pretty naturally wavy I usually end up curling the edges with my straight hair attachment and I hold it there for a little bit so it kind of holds that curl and it makes you know my hair throughout the day look more natural as it kind of waves itself up and usually I will spend a little bit more time combing over the front sections of my hair and the parts that are at the top to make sure it has a nice curl and to make sure it's not super frizzy and then you know rinse and repeat for the other side of my head I see you hide yourself underneath the mountain of makeup plus the words that you made up won't make you any cooler than you are once that is all good to go, this is when basically I clip back all of that hair and really start working on my bangs. For my bangs, what I usually do is I will, if it's on the more wetter side, aka it did not receive any heat while I was drying my hair, which is very rare actually, I'll usually dry it for a little bit so it's about 50% dry, but if it's already pretty dry, I won't even go into drying it. I switch out the hair dryer attachment and I end up using the round brush attachment. So what I end up doing is I will curl my curtain bangs away from my face for about a few minutes and you can see here that I did about like two to three turns away from my face. This technique I found just kind of helps with some volume because after that is done I then curl it towards my face and basically the contrast really helps add volume and really helps my hair basically like hold a curl essentially. So once I curl it towards my forehead two to three times I usually will split it in the middle at this point. Now my hair honestly at this point has been split in the middle for so long it kind of naturally splits in the middle itself without me really having to do much so that is definitely a bonus so once I split it then then I go in with the round hairbrush and I put it under my curtain bangs. I pull it diagonally across my face and I basically just focus on curling the edges for a little bit. So once I'm done with that, as I basically release the hair, I pull it back towards that side of my face and then you're going to gently let it go so that it kind of curls towards this, my ear. Again, rinse and repeat for the other side. All your beauty that you hide. This ain't usually how you're... So at this point 
point, you know, my hair is honestly mostly dry. And the only part that probably isn't super dry is probably from my curtain bangs to the rest of my hair because usually I avoid, like I said, drying my curtain bangs as I'm drying the rest of my hair. So what I end up doing is I throw on the blow dry attachment and basically finish drying that part. And this step also actually helps melt the curtain bangs to the rest of my hair. And once I do it on the other side, I always comb through my curtain bangs with my hair. Again, this step helps melt the curtain bangs into the rest of the hair so it doesn't look like I styled it in two separate ways. Honestly, sometimes I have better curtain bangs days than others. Sometimes my curtain bangs are really stubborn and just kind of stay flicked up and then that really annoys me until I sleep on it and then the next day it's like per totally fine. Hot tip while you're watching this video is that something that I do almost every day because I work out every day is that I will always wash my curtain bangs every day after I work out and basically style it as you see here in the video and then basically just dry my roots from the sweat. So that is actually something that I do and it prevents me from having to wash my hair, my entire head every single day. Okay, now we're just going to quickly glaze over to show you how I curl my hair. In essence, it is basically the same method as how I straighten my hair. The only difference is that I'm using the hair curl attachments. Now for the Dyson Airwrap, they have an option for you to buy separate curls that have a longer barrel and that's what I use because I do have pretty long hair, honestly. So I will curl it from the bottom out after I've sectioned my hair. So process of me curling my video ta-da here it is curled and then as you can see from the video I always choose to loosen my curls just a little bit but naturally because of the Dyson air wrap it actually loosens itself throughout the day so I don't loosen it too much and you can see that I don't really brush through the curls because like I said it does loosen it itself and the last thing I want to touch on is probably I feel like I might get some questions asked about whether or not I put any product in my hair after I style it and the answer is no because my hair while thick and while you know pretty smooth looking is actually a little coarse so it tends to hold a curl and tends to hold a style really easily without additional product so I don't usually add anything or throw on anything after except usually when I curl my hair I'll always throw in some hair oil once I'm done styling but I completely forgot to film it for this video so there you have it thank you guys so much for watching I promise this was actually not a sponsor for the Dyson Airwrap it is just a tool that I use because I find that it just helps me consolidate all my tools and you know it is expensive but I use it all not, I was gonna say almost every day, but that's a lie. I use it every day. So for me, it definitely works out cost per wear, but I'm not saying that you have to buy it to make you know your hair look like mine. I used to use like, you know, like a separate round brush and a separate, you know, hair dryer, and that worked totally fine. I just found that I wanted to consolidate it, and that is why I got the Dyson Air Wrap. Now, if you're interested in a review, I will leave a video of the like basically vlogmas video of me showing you how I styled my hair using the Dyson and air wrap because I kind of talk more about like the actual product in that video so yeah if you have any questions about this video let me know in the comments but thank you guys so much for watching and like I said earlier if you're interested in seeing a hair care video let me know and I'll see you next time for another video bye guys never seen you act this way so I came booked a one way to LA gave up everything